in Kimberly with our high school game time game of the week and it was a good one. Bill Turnquist, two-time defending state champ, 39 straight wins for West Pier, facing Wapaka and Bo Ash. Look at this, 90-yard touchdown run for Ash. He had a huge run earlier in the game. He is gone. And Wapaka, look out. They're on top 7-0. West Pier answers right back. Connor Konchak, he rifles it. I'm sorry, Matt DeBaker to Connor Konchak, 87 yards. We're tied up at seven apiece. West of here would take back the lead with Zach Rothering, part of that two-headed monster at running back. Oh, eight-yard touchdown run, and the Phantoms are on top. They got a lot of good running backs there. West of here, they're still ahead. Comets, they go for it on fourth down. Sam Menzies, Nate Nelson, extra point blocked, 14-13 at the half. Then, second half, down one. That's Bo Ash for Wapaka, go ahead field goal. So they got the lead and that was your last play of the game. West to Pier, Matt to Baker, picked off and that is it. That is your final 16-14. Wapaka snaps the 39 game win streak with West to Pier. Prep expert Doug Ritchie caught up with a very happy winning coach. Here with Wapaka coach John Kronkowitz, his team stunned the state, but probably not his team with a huge 16-14 uh, win over West to Pier. John, what does this one mean to you guys? Uh, this means uh, a great deal for everybody, you know. Uh, it's great for the players, it's great for the fans, it's great for the school, it's great for the community, you know, coaching staff. You can't ask for anything more than an opportunity to make a trip to Madison. That's everybody's dream at the beginning of the year, and uh, we accomplished that this evening. Bo Ash, everyone knows him as a great running back, a great linebacker. Is he a great field goal kicker now? First kick of his career well, that goes through the uprights to, to go to state. Well, he's, he's kicking a thousand, and that's all you could ask of the guy, you know? Uh, I just had a feeling, you know? I mean, he's the kind of guy that's been around a long time. He was here in 2009 as a freshman when we had lost his very game to West of Pier, and they went on their first trip to Madison. Uh, sometimes you leave it up to your players. And then uh, big games, big plays make a difference. Big players make big plays, and that's what happened on numerous occasions out there this evening. So talk, talk about the game overall. I mean, it was just a grind. Nobody could get a drive going. And what went through your head there late in the fourth when you had to get that field goal? And did you tell anything to the kids? Uh, no. You know, I think we just play every minute or every second uh, uh, and just play. And, and I think that relieves some of the pressure from this particular ball club. You know, I, with four minutes to go when, when Wesley Beer had the, uh, had the ball and they were driving, you know, I, I said to our defense, you know, we got to get a stop here. If we get a stop here, we're going down and scoring here and there's not going to be a whole lot of time left. And sure enough, you know, they made the stop. We got the ball back. We made some plays. Uh, uh, on offense, got it down into a field goal range, and, and uh, you know, that's kind of what we wanted to do. We wanted to take time off the clock and uh, kick, the, uh, kick the field goal and hopefully win the ball game. And Wapaka did, 16-14 over West of Pier. That winning streak at Wapaka, it's 12 games. That's the one we're going to talk about now. Yeah, that's a big one right now. Back to the studio.